السلام علیکم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب عزتن علم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدم لسانی افقه قولی قل هو اللہ احد اللہ السمد لم یلد و لم یلد و لم یقل اللہ کفون احد My dear students hope you all are well uh, due to the pandemic situation of coronavirus throughout the world uh, we will start our classes online from this day forward as Kohat University of Science and Technology has arranged online system uh, to facilitate the students uh, we were studying uh, taxonomy systematic taxonomy so we studied already the scope importance history different uh, periods of taxonomy and today lecture we will study the levels or divisions of taxonomy so basically in taxonomy there are two major divisions or two levels one is micro taxonomy and one is macro taxonomy it is very clear from even their names micro taxonomy and macro taxonomy so now micro taxonomy is a small level minute level so when we study it species and subspecies when we study at this level species and subspecies level this is actually known as micro taxonomy because these are micro levels because we are studying at micro level for example let me show you this will be micro taxonomy now this is micro taxonomy now the macro taxonomy so micro is actually small small level so you know the lowest categories the lowest categories in classification and taxonomy are species and subspecies so when we study at uh, species or subspecies level this is known as micro taxonomy but when we go up like when we start studying at genus level at family level at order level or at class or file and kingdom or domain level so those are high levels those levels are known as macro taxonomy for example domain kingdom phylum class order family and genus so now these are now we are studying it uh, micro level macro level sorry so okay so now these are classified as macro levels so these are now you can say you can very easily say that these are this is now known as macro taxonomy so simply when we study it this is macro now now look at this one species when we study its species and subspecies level this is known as micro taxonomy and when we study it 
domain kingdom phylum class order family genus level this is macro taxonomy so i hope uh, now you understand what i mean to say let's define it properly so micro taxonomy micro taxonomy is the branch of taxonomy which deals with the species and subspecies very simply or you can say as the taxonomy of species level when we study at species level now both of the taxonomies micro taxonomy and macro taxonomy they have certain stages so there are two stages in micro taxonomy number one is alpha taxonomy or analytical phase or analytical stage you can say and gamma taxonomy it is biological stage or biological phase and macro taxonomy is divided only into one uh, phase or one stage that is uh, beta taxonomy so we will study that later on first we have to study uh, and understand what is the uh, alpha phase and what is uh, gamma phase or what is analytical phase or what is biological phase and these are a bit tricky one so uh, concentrate and please be attentive let's move to the next section for example we have a genus name canis you know uh, genus canis belong to the family canary in which all canines are included jitne bhi canine animals hai dog like animals hai dog like carnivores hai they are included in family canary or canis ek usme genus hai now just suppose for example if you have three unknown species if you have three unknown species and i am talking about the genus canis mean genus canis hai but there are species which are unknown you don't know them then what are those these species what these species are you don't name don't know the names of these species yet you have to find out so for example if there are species but these are unknown species number 1 unknown you don't know species number 2 you don't know species number 3 you don't know so tell me you guys tell me what we will do if you don't know these species simply that's very easy what you will do you will study the their characteristics mean the characteristics of this species this species and this species you know genus is actually macro level so we are not talking about the macro level macro level is not we are talking about the micro taxonomy micro taxonomy species level taxonomy and now these species we don't know these species but what we do we will study their character we will collect these species specimens and then we will study their characteristics then we will discriminate them and on the basis of our study of our discrimination of our uh, characteristics we will name them for example canis is a genus where we have three unknown species we studied them properly and then we are going to name them so after studying we come to the conclusion we came to the conclusion that one species was lupus one species was aureus and another species was pangolinus so now, do you know what i am talking about what is a lupus i think i already told you lupus is wolf you know that wolf huh it's easy wolf there you okay so the lupus wolf and the other was aureus and the third one was familiaris
Thunderbolt was familiar. So it's uh, uh, like very easy. We had a genus, Canis. There were three unknown species: one, two, and three. We collected these specimens. We studied their characteristics. We discriminate them on the basis of their differences and similarities, and then we named them Lupus aureus familiaris. Lupus is wolf, aureus is jackal, golden jackal familiaris is the common dog. So first, we didn't know that this was Canis unknown, Canis unknown, Canis unknown. But after we studied, it became Canis lupus, Canis aureus, Canis familiaris. Now this stage I was talking about actually I was going to tell you that this is the important thing this stage this is the stage we were talking about. So now we are studying in its species level so definitely it's micro taxonomy but what are we doing? We were discriminating species from each other. So this is alpha phase. Or alpha stage. You got the point? I think you have to understand it. Now from here, we एक टर्मिनोलॉजी है मोनोटिपिक स्पीशीज और एक है पॉलीटिपिक स्पीशीज मोनो मीन वन टाइपिक मीन टाइप्स पॉली मीन मेनी और टाइपिक मीन टाइप्स नाउ दो स्पीशीज व्हिच हैव सब स्पीशीज आर नोन एज पॉलीटिपिक स्पीशीज मीन वो स्पीशीज जिनकी एक या दो से ज्यादा सब स्पीशीज होंगी तो उनको हम कहेंगे पॉलीटिपिक स्पीशीज and those species which don't have subspecies are known as monotypic species. Those species, which subspecies are not known, so we will call monotypic species. Now I will give you an example. Here we are ignoring the aureus and the familiarness. We are talking about the lupus. The lupus is lupus. जो वॉल्फ है इसके कई सारे सब स्पीशीज दुनिया में मौजूद हैं तो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी स्टार्ट स्टडीइंग फर्दर द लूपस सो आप ये समझे कि लूपस जो है ये पॉलीटिपिक स्पीशी है मीन इसके सब स्पीशीज है नाउ इसके सब स्पीशीज वी विल टॉक अबाउट देयर सब स्पीशीज Okay. Now we are going to study subspecies. So, you have a lot of species. Now, you have more species. And when you have studied it, you have seen that this is unknown. This is unknown. एक और अननोन स्पीशी आपके पास आ गई है इसको थोड़ा सा उसमें कर लेते हैं डाउनवर्ड कर लेते हैं ताकि हमें समझ आ जाए प्रॉपर्ली ये नॉन अननोन अननोन ये कई सारे सब स्पीशीज के बहुत ज्यादा हैं लेकिन हमने क्या कर रहे हैं उनको फाइंड आउट करने फॉर एग्जांपल ये हमें फाइव स्पीशीज मिली इनको हमने हमें ये पता था कि ये एक वॉल्फ है, लूपस है, लेकिन ये कौन सी सबस्पीशीज है, ये हमें नहीं पता था, तो फिर हमने इसको स्टडी करना शुरू किया, और स्टडी के बाद हमें पता चला कि दिस इज़ अल्बस, अल्बस जो है, मैं आपको इसकी पिक्चर बता देता हूँ, अभी दिखाऊँगा थोड़ी देर बाद, लेकिन पहले आप इनको सिर्फ न سوری اس میں پہلے لوپس ہونا چاہیے پہلے لوپس ہونا چاہیے پھر ہم البس کی بات کریں گے پھر البس کے بعد ہم نے کہا 
اور بس اس کے بعد ہمارے پاس آ جاتا ہے کمپیسٹریس کمپیسٹریس اور آ جاتا ہے چین کو تو اسی طرح کئی سارے ہیں اب ہم نے اس کے یہ جو ان نون ون ٹو تھری فور فائیو ان نون تھی ہمیں یہ پتا تھا کہ یہ بلونگ کرتی ہیں تو دا اسپیشیز لوپس لیکن ہمیں نہیں پتا تھا کہ یہ کون سی سب اسپیشی ہے تو پھر ہم نے کیا کیا اس کے لیے ہم نے اس کو اسٹڈی کیا اور اسٹڈی کرنے کے بعد ہمیں پتہ چلا کہ یہ لوپس ہے یہ البس ہے یہ اربس ہے ہم ان کو نیم دے دیے اس لیول کو جب ہم اسپیشی اس کو چھوڑ کے اور مزید نیچے چلے جاتے ہیں اور اب جب ہم اسٹڈی کرنا شروع کرتے ہیں سب اسپیشی لیول پر تو اس فیس کو ہم کیا کہیں گے شاباش بتاتی جائے کیا کہیں گے اس کو اس کو ہم کہیں گے ظاہری بات ہے اس کو ہم کہیں گے گاما فیس یا گاما سٹیج اب آپ کو اگر سمجھ آ گئی ہوگی شاید ہم نے کیا کہا دوبارہ سے ایک بار پڑھتے ہیں جب ہم سمپلی ٹیکسانومی کی دو ڈویژنس ہیں ٹو ڈویژنس ون از مائکرو ٹیکسانومی ون از مائکرو ٹیکسانومی مائکرو ٹیکسانومی ون وی اسٹڈی ایٹ اسپیشیز اینڈ سب اسپیشی لیول دس از مائکرو ٹیکسانومی ون وی اسٹڈی ایٹ ہائر لیول جینس فیملی آرڈر کلاس فائلم کنڈم ڈومین دس از مائکرو ٹیکسانومی ناؤ مائکرو ٹیکسانومی ہیز ٹو اسٹیجز ون از الفا اسٹیج ون از بیٹا اسٹیج واٹ از الفا اسٹیج ون وی اسٹڈی ایٹ اسپیشی لیول دس از نون ایز الفا فیز اینڈ ون وی گو ٹوڈ دا سب اسپیشی فیز دین دس از نون ایز گاما فیز ناؤ ہاؤ لائک دیر ایز اے جینس کینس دیر آر ان نون تھری اسپیشیز then we collected them we started uh, studied them we discriminated them we named them so this whole process is known as alpha phase but then again we started studied this genus uh, the, the 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 species lupus and we we found uh, found that there were five subspecies in this lupus and we uh, how we will do it simply we will collect the species and we will we will study their characteristics so this phase where we find find out the subspecies is known as gamma phase now keep in mind one point right here that the subspecies as are present only in certain groups of animals like insects like uh, birds and like fishes and the rest of the groups subspecies are very minimal in number mera matlab ye hai ke birds insects is mein lepidoptera ho gayi coleoptera ye butterflies or moths in mein subspecies bahut zyada hai kyunki inme evolutionary adaptations bahut zyada ho gaye hain and actually you you should keep in mind one thing other that this level is actually known as intra specific study or this is actually population systematics because we are studying variation within a population lupus ki population ke andar humne differences study ke we were studying differences inside the population of lupus and then we found out uh, and pointed out those differences and on those differences on the basis of those differences we divided them into subspecies lupus albus erbus compestus or chenko now kis tarah ho jayenge ab ho gaye canis lupus lupus canis lupus albus canis lupus erbus canis lupus compestus canis lupus chenko and there are many other species and let me show you the pictures of these subspecies this is canis lupus albus this is ko kehte hain tundra wolf and this is 
Acanus lupus herbus, Arabian wool. Canis lupus campestris, stepol. Canis lupus chenko, Mongolian wool. Canis lupus italicus, Italian wool. Or Canis lupus lupus, which is normally Eurasian wolf, a common wolf, a subspecies. So uh, I think it's very clear now that this is uh, actually species and subspecies level taxonomy is known as microtaxonomy. And when we sp uh, study at the species level, this is alpha phase, we discriminate. And when we go toward the subspecies, so this is known as gamma phase. Okay, so uh, back to uh, slides. Uh, now, alpha taxonomy, uh, so we will define it as it is related to characterization, discrimination in naming of species, or you can say it is the level at which species are characterized and named. So, when you have unknown species, you have to characterize and then you name it. So, this is alpha phase. This is taxonomy simply mean characterization and naming. Gamma taxonomy. Uh, it is concerned with the study of intra specific variation within the population huh? or other variations or attributes. It refers to the intra specific variation in evolutionary studies or study of speciation. Q study of speciation, why study of uh, evolution? So, I have given you an example that if there is a population, man population, and a small number of that population they uh, get isolated and makes a peripheral population so then the uh, genetic exchange between them stop and with the passage of time the peripheral population develop into another species maybe it will become a subspecies and after subspecies if after long isolation maybe they will develop into a new species so actually this is the study of speciation these subspecies uh, actually this is intraspecific variation in the study of evolutionary studies so it is actually concerned with population systematics. It can be divided as systematics. Now macro taxonomy. So I already told you, but uh, let me define it. That it is the branch of taxonomy which deals with classification of genus and higher uh, higher taxa, where we uh, deal with the classification of genus and then with higher taxa. So already known species and uh, genus. Uh, j j j sorry, already uh, uh, when we already describe some species, then we have to put them in certain general genera and then genera into families and families into orders and orders into classes and classes into phyla and phyla into kingdoms and kingdoms into domain. So it has only one stage. I told you the one is that is beta taxonomy that is known in synthetic phase. So what we do here, it refers to the arrangement of species into a natural system of lower and higher categories or it can be known as classification of a defined species. So when unknown species, when you have unknown species, so you cannot like classify it, you cannot put them into categories. But for example, now we now j j let's go to the, let's go, uh, let's go back to the example. For example, we have this species lupus. So lupus. We characterized it, discriminated, and named it. Now lupus. So now we will look into the characteristics of lupus. We will put it into certain genus. So now from this area, right from this genus, starts the beta taxonomy, the beta, it's the beta phase of macro taxonomy. We will put this can lupus into the genus canis. And this canis genus will put it to a family. The family will be Canadi, and then Canadi will be again into Carnivora, and Carnivora will be into the class Mammalia, and Mammalia will be into the phylum Vertebrata, and Vertebrata phylum will be into the kingdom Animalia, and Animalia into Eukaryota. So this is macro taxonomy. And the arrangement of the identified species in these categories is known as beta phase. Okay. Back to lecture. Uh, it can be regarded as classification. Now, uh, uh, in actual practice, it is very difficult to discriminate 
these stages from each other because they were lap and integrate with each other but anyhow uh, if you are an expert you can uh, uh, see it uh, as i told uh, told you already that uh, um, in most animal group taxonomies at alpha and beta level uh, there are very few group where taxonomy reach to gamma level I mean if there were if there are subspecies in uh, certain populations so then we reach to gamma level but if there are no subspecies so we will only stick to alpha and beta phases so uh, like i told you the birds insects lepidoptera etc uh, taxonomy has reached to the gamma level so and now the next uh, the very next uh, thing is classification so classification is really simple the arrangement of organisms into groups and into subgroups on the basis of same similar similarities and differences to uske base pe hum jab groups ke groups banate hain sub group banate hain to isko hum kehte hain classification it's very simple uh, depending on the history uh, the uh, there are two types of classification one is upward classification and one is downward classification so don't get confused as very simple upward classification mean when we go from the uh, bottom to the top mean when we start from subspecies to species genus and so on and so on so this is upward classification and downward classification is when we start from the upwards for example we start from domain from the uh, then kingdom then uh, phylum and class and so on and so on up to the species and subspecies so this is downward classification simply in uh, in downward classification what we do actually we uh, on the basis of certain logical uh, principles and divisions we uh, what we do uh, subordinate groups is split it into subordinate groups like for example there is a domain so domain is divided into two prokaryota and eukaryota okay now Uh, let go the prokaryota let's talk about the superordinate group that is domain we divide domain into how much into four groups protista kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae okay one superordinate was divided into four more groups now let go the protista and the uh, the plantae and fungi let's start with the animalia okay let's go to the animalia animalia is further divided into two main like a vertebrata and invertebrate again let's talk about the vertebrata vertebrata is, it is, a, is again divided into classes five classes fish uh, pisces class pisces class reptilia class amphibia class avis class mammalia and so on the class mammalia is further divided into orders and orders into families and families into genera and genera into species so this is actually we come from the uh, up like from the the up to the downward like we we come from the domain in kingdom and so on into the uh, species level i mean phylum into classes classes into orders order into genera and so on and so on and this like uh, uh, in the old uh, greek time the blood animals were divided into blooded and bloodless then further blooded were divided into hairy and hairless so this was actually the idea of aristotle and scientists like linnaeus and casalpino then upward classification so here it is actually the arrangement of species into groups by accepting certain uh, characteristics which are in common for example here in the very example here we we lupus aureus and familiaris these three were grouped into genus canis why because they have and i and then philidae canidae mustelidae hmm? these are actually let's me give you an example right from here this is this is uh, genus canis lutra uh, mephitis 
and Pantra. These are put into like uh, Canis is into Canadi, Lutra and Mephitis into Mustelady and Panthera into Philadi. Now these Philadi, Mustelady and Canadi, these three families are then put into one or uh, combined into one order named Carnivora. Why? Because these are all carnivores. So we like uh, as, I, as it is clear from here like we accept certain common characteristics. So we accept certain common characteristics and we put them into into a one group and then again the groups are uh, uh, compared and uh, with similar uh, characteristics are again grouped into another group. Like for example, similar species are put into one genus, similar genera are grouped into one family, similar families are grouped into one order, similar orders are grouped into one class, similar classes are grouped into one phylum and similar phylums are Phylas are uh, like put into one kingdom. It's very simple. For example, all uh, invertebrates they are grouped into one phylum. So, like from protozoa up to the echinodermata, so all, all these, these phylums are grouped into one super phylum. There is invertebrate. So, by accepting certain common characteristics, we put them into groups. For example, there are 10 species A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. For example, A, B, C, D, E. They have similar characteristics. So we will put them in one group. And F, G are uh, two uh, species which have certain characteristics in common will be put into another group. And H, I, J will be put into another group. And so on and so on. And then by this way, we classify things. Like for example, in this example, how we will classify them? For example, these have star shapes so this this makes one group these are round shape so this will make this will make another group these two are rectangular shape, square shape so we can the third group so let's divide them like star shape these were round shapes and these are rectangular shapes and then by accepting certain other characteristics we again divide them into families family y and family x y because these two these have like star shapes endings and these have like rounding shapes endings so they were grouped into one family and into another family and and this way we uh, classify them and so on and so on them into genera into species species into genera into genera into families and so on and so on uh, thank you so much for listening uh, this was all about uh, the divisions of taxonomy and uh, classification, upward classification and downward classification. <coughs> so um, if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, there is a comment box uh, in the online system. You can uh, put your comment there. You can ask your question there. And you know we, uh, we have uh, like uh, WhatsApp groups or class WhatsApp groups. So you can ask a voice message. You can ask a question or you can just comment over there it's up to you and uh, take care apna ne ghar walon ka khayal rakhe aur ghar pe rahe aaram se baithe ghar pe pandemic situation hai corona virus ki to apne aur apne ghar walon ka bhi khayal rakhe aur sabse zyada jo important cheez ye hai wo hai aapka waqt wo bahut zyada qeemti hai aur is waqt aapke liye university mein online classes arrange kiye hain तो इनसे फायदा लें और प्रॉपरली अपना वक्त जाया होने से बचाएं प्रॉपरली क्लासेस को सुने और वक्त पे जो है वो रिस्पॉन्ड भी किया करें अच्छा लास्ट में मैं आपको सिर्फ एक असाइनमेंट दूंगा वहां पे मैं रिटर्न में भी दे दूंगा आपने फिर वहां से उसको सेव भी करना है और अपने उसको वहां से देख के बना के आपने अपलोड भी करना है आपने करना ये है कि आपने हर एक ग्रुप से फॉर एग्जांपल इनवर्टेब्रेटा में प्रोटोवाज है जोआ से लेकर एकाइनोडर्मा तक ये तकरीबन कोई नाइन फाइलाज हैं हर में हर हर एक से टू टू स्पीशीज और इसी तरह जो वर्टेब्रेटा के फाइव क्लासेस हैं पाइसिस से लेकर मामिलिया तक हर में हर एक में से आप टू टू स्पीशीज सेलेक्ट करें तो नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू इज इक्वल टू नाइन एटीन और टेन रो हो जाएंगे तो ये तकरीबन ट्वेंटी एट स्पीशीज हो जाएंगे ये 28 स्पीशीज आपने हर ग्रुप से टू टू स्पीशीज आपने लेने हैं और उन स्पीशीज की आपने क्लासिफिकेशन लिखनी है डोमेन से लेकर सब स्पीशी तक अगर सब स्पीशी है किसी में तो ठीक है 
नहीं है तो स्पीशी लेवल तक लेकिन कुछ ऐसे भी होने चाहिए कि जिसमें सब स्पीशीज हो ऐसा ना हो कि आप सारे स्पीशी लेवल तक ले जाए तो सब स्पीशी और स्पीशी लेवल दोनों तक लेके जाए क्लासिफिकेशन करें और फिर आप उसमें पॉइंट आउट करें उसको मार्क करके बताएं कि ये मैक्रोटेक्सानोमी है और ये माइक्रोटेक्सानोमी है ये बीटा फेज है ये अल्फा फेज है और ये गामा फेज है तो प्रॉपरली आप ये असाइनमेंट करके आपने प्रॉपर टाइम पे सबमिट करना होगा होप मेरी बात आपको समझ आ गई होगी मेरा मतलब ये है कि आपके पास एक कागज़ है उसका आप कागज पे आपने लिखे डोमेन फाइलम किंगडम फाइलम क्लास ऑर्डर फैमिली जेनस स्पीशी सब स्पीशी फिर फॉर एग्जांपल एक एग्जांपल आप ले लें आपने लेट सपोज अगर ले लिया अमीबा तो अमीबा को प्रॉपरली क्लासीफाई करें उसकी जो डोमेन क्या है उसकी फाइलम क्या है क्लास क्या है ऑर्डर क्या है फैमिली क्या है जिनस क्या है स्पीशी क्या है सब स्पीशी अगर है तो वो कौन सी है और फिर आप उसमें से मार्क कर करके बताएं कि यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये मैक्रोटिक्सोनमी है यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये माइक्रोटिक्सोनमी है यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये अल्फा फेज है यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये बीटा फेज है और यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये गामा फेज है ये आपने प्रॉपरली उसमें हर एक में से क्लेरिफाई करना होगा थैंक यू सो मच एंड टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़